What's going on, everybody? It's the Beastly Gamer here, and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Yeah, I look a little different today. My my hair's a little scruffy. I've been letting it grow out, but let's get on with it. There's been a lot of allegations of sexual harassment uh, in the media. You know, the whole story with Harvey Weinstein, the, the, the power player, the power broker in Hollywood who's been molesting women, uh, apparently for years. He'll just tell a woman, hey, let me show you this part of the building. I'll take her around the corner, whip it out and masturbate, and just tell her to stand there if she doesn't want to participate. So this guy, you know, multimillionaire, huge donor to the Democratic Party, uh, big friends with, you know, the, the, the top of the top, the elite of the elite. You know, Obama, Hillary Clinton, big friends of his. But he's been molesting people, and of course they're coming out of the woodworks. Pretty soon it's like half of Hollywood is going to have disgusting stories about this guy. And I do hope that he sees justice. You can't do this to people. I have, I have daughters. I have a whole, uh, you know, I got many puppies, okay? I got many puppies, and, and some of them are girls. And the thought that there could be, you know, somebody out there that just taking advantage of them because they happen to have uh, different sex organs or they're attractive, really pisses me off <laughs> but harvey weinstein might not be the only person out there right now that's well known who's just pulling out the junk on his employees there's been a story circulating recently uh, and i think that it has a lot to do with the harvey weinstein story but it has something to do with a company that i absolutely love and it would really shatter my perception of what this company is if any of this this allegation is true and i wanted to bring it to you guys and get your thoughts i'll drop a link in the description Top PlayStation Studio, Naughty Dog, responds to allegations of sex harassment. A developer says he was fired after coming forward with his claims. So, apparently someone was fired. They said, hey, look, someone sexually harassed me, and they were fired immediately. So this is going to be interesting. Naughty Dog, the developer of The Last of Us and Uncharted franchises, has acknowledged, while disputing, allegations of sexual harassment made by a designer this weekend on social media. David Ballard, a designer no longer with the studio, alleged in a series of tweets on Saturday that he was terminated in February 2016 after informing the studio and the Human Resources Department of its parent, Sony Interactive Entertainment, of harassment allegations. He said he was offered $20,000 in severance pay on the condition that he remained silent about his time in the studio. Ballard said he refused the twenty grand. Huh, what, twenty grand changed my life right now? Hmm, who knows? Would I be silent for it in the face of sexual harassment? You know, I'm sure people have been silent for a lot less, you know? Sometimes you have obligations and you have a family, or in my case, a brood to support. So, you know, sometimes you find yourself in, in tough situations. And if this case is actually true, I'm happy this guy didn't take it. Naughty Dog, in a statement published on its site today, said, quote, We have not found any evidence of having received allegations from Mr. Ballard that he was harassed in any way at Naughty Dog or Sony Interactive Entertainment. So, it, I, I would hope that, you know, if this guy went to HR, he talked to a representative, he has some type of paper trail or, or phone call or something that he could, you know, use as evidence. Of course, this is very sketchy to me because Mr. Ballard doesn't really um, express who was the perpetrator of this alleged sexual assault or the sexual abuse. So it's just kind of out there in the ether. I was abused at, you know, at Naughty Dog or at Sony Interactive Entertainment. Anyway, to me, it sounds kind of kind of funny. Ballard said he was speaking out now, quote, because of the strength I've seen in others coming forward about their experiences in the TV and film industry, end quote. So this does have something to do with the Harvey Weinstein story for sure. So, uh, you know, who knows whether or not this guy is true. Apparently... A reference to the week's news of Harvey Weinstein, a Hollywood producer accused of sexual harassment, assault, and rape over decades in his position. And I'm sure he was playing with all the positions. From what I hear, this guy, uh, Harvey Weinstein, he would just, you know, walk up to a lady and say, hey, you know, I, I forget her name, but it was an attractive blonde. He was talking to her in a restaurant that he part owned. And he asked her to, you know, he said, hey, I want to show you the kitchen. Come down. Let me show you this area. And she was with one of her girlfriends sitting down. She said, he wants to show me the, um, the the kitchen or some other areas. And her friend said, if you're not back in 10 minutes, um, I'm coming to get you. So she said, okay. So she went down to the kitchen area. She said she knew immediately that something sketchy was going on. 
And uh, she said there was two guys sweeping, and Harvey Weinstein told them to get lost. He said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and the two guys left. And she was, like, wondering what was going on. She said he leaned in to kind of kiss her. She she said, hey, no, I'm not here for that. I just came for the lasagna. And he said, she didn't say that. <laughs> but she said, no, I'm not here to make out with you. And he said, well, just stand there and shut up. <laughs> This guy is a fucking G. He just said, stand there and shut up. And she was like, oh my God, what is going on here? And so she said, this guy pulled his Johnson out, started stroking himself and and pleasuring himself is the word she used and masturbated until he climaxed. And they walked out together. They walked back to the, she asked him, are you, can I leave now after he busted his nut? But this guy is a real scumbag. That's the only way you can describe it. To me, people like that deserve to be under the jail, especially, you know, myself, I have five pups. And and three of them are female. They're not bitches, though. But three of them are girls. And, you know, the thought that some predators out there are in a position of authority with millions of dollars who just try to take advantage of them. And, and you know, a lot of girls, they play. They'll play the game. They'll go into that situation and say, this big, nasty-looking guy wants some ass. I'll just give him some because he he has the keys to the city. And that's a sad situation that a lot of females find themselves in. But back to Ballard. Ballard's profile on LinkedIn lists him as an environmental artist for Naughty Dog from 2009 to 2014. Following a nine-month stint with Ubisoft, he returned to Naughty Dog in 2016 as a multiplayer level designer. He was credited in Uncharted 2, 3, 4, and The Last of Us. Ballard said he has been unemployed for the last 17 months. He alleged that he told PlayStation's Human Resources Department about the sex harassment allegation and was dismissed one day later. So I'm guessing that they're colluding. Because everybody colludes now, so Sony is colluding with uh, Naughty Dog and they decided to fire David Ballard. And this is what David Ballard said on his tweet uh, on October 14th. He said, In February 2016, I had a mental breakdown at work and Sony PlayStation HR became involved. When I told them about the harassment... They ended the call and fired me the next day. They cited the company was moving in a different direction and my job was no longer needed. This is what Sony and Naughty Dog said in a joint statement. Quote, we have taken and will always take reports of sexual harassment and other workplace grievances very seriously. We value every person who works at Naughty Dog and Sony Interactive Entertainment. End quote. So uh, hopefully if this guy was harassed, uh, I don't know who would be harassing him, but if he if he's actually harassed, hopefully he has some kind of, you know, proof or some kind of evidence that he can bring forward. But, you know, it's funny how, you know, one person comes out and, and, and basically breaks a story. And now everybody gets the balls, uh, pardon my French, to come out and, and, and speak the truth. But what of all the people being silent? You know, why was this guy silent before? And all of a sudden, all these women come out about sexual harassment. He gets the balls to talk about being sexually harassed. I think that if you're sexually harassed and you allow something to happen the first time, uh, then you are basically just as guilty as the person perpetrating the sexual harassment. It's like you play with a puppy, it licks your lips. You nip that in the bud immediately. If someone's touching you inappropriately and you allow it to go on for one day, if you allow it to go on for a week or a month, you are now party to the problem. Uh, you always come out. As soon as it happens, you let everyone know exactly what happened. Courtney Love uh, mentioned um, Harvey Weinstein years ago, and she was blacklisted after you know coming out and telling you know warning people if he ever. She said if Harvey Weinstein ever invites you to a private party, don't go. She was immediately blacklisted, and, and she was one of the few who told the truth. And I think she's a skank, but at least she told the truth. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm so happy to be here doing this video with you guys. Uh, I feel like the big dog today. You guys let me know what you think about this story in the comments. Uh, do you think that this David Ballard was a victim of sexual harassment? Or do you think that he's trying to maybe exact revenge on someone who let him go from Naughty Dog? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And if you'd like to take your support even further, check out my Patreon page. Link in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.